What's up? Sean Watson here talking about the 2011 Watson Wakeboard. Uh, first off, it's got a real clean graphic. Uh, if you turn it over, some of the features of the board is that first off, it's got screw-on fins rather than molded fins. Uh, makes the board faster, but also durable. If you're going to be hitting rails, take the fins off. It's also got vented channels coming throughout the center of the board. This channel runs all the way through the center and exits out the tip of the board. Also creating a triple concave here in the center of the board. Makes the board really soft on landings, uh, but also really fast and mellow on the water. And then lastly, is it's got a mellow three-stage rocker. Still has a three-stage rocker feel, but not as aggressive and keeps the board fast. So, hope you like it. Uh, classic board's been in the line for six years now. Still killing it. Um, it's got a nice mellow basic graphic on the top. Sick graphic on the bottom. Um, talk about a few of the features. It's got molded in fins, um, which you know give you a lot of grip, but it also has the ability to put a center fin if needed. Um, it's got nice vented channels coming through the exiting out the board. Gives you a little more traction. Um, it's also got a spine down the center, which gives it a little bit softer landings with a double concave in throughout. Um, board's also got three-stage rocker which gives you that more straight up pop off the wake and uh, yeah all around good board that anybody can get on and enjoy uh, very similar to the Watson wakeboard except that we took the newest hybrid technology and incorporated it in this board uh, it's got polyurethane sidewalls so the board's really durable you can slam it down run into anything the board's not going to break um, it's also got a lot of flex to the board still stiff for riding wake but also has that flexibility if you're going to be hitting rails. Um, as you can see here, I have been hitting a lot of rails because it's got the grind base bottom. The board's still fine, nothing wrong with it, but as you can see, it's got the marks from the rails. Um, and you can also see here, it's got the wood inlaid with foam. It's got the window here so you can see the inside of the board. Really cool graphic. Uh, some of the features are, it's got screw-on fins. Um, if you're going to be riding wake, which I do a lot on this board, um, I would want to use the fins. But if I'm going to take it to the rail park, take the fins off. That way I can press and you know, actually use the flex of the board. And without the fins, I still have the ability to track because it's got all these channels going throughout the board. Um, it's got a triple concave throughout the center. Really mellow. As you can see, the board still has a lot of contact point here. And... Uh, yeah, overall, sick board, loving it. Uh, first off, it's got a real clean look, but it's also super ultra light. Um, and that's due to this new AR6 chassis. As you can see here, it's got a, the newest technology in shock absorbing air cells, uh, which gives for real soft landings on hard impact. Uh, but it also keeps you closer to the board because it's a lot thinner airbag this year. Um, also comes with a dual lacing system which allows you to customize your fit. Uh, it's also got a brand new inner liner, very comfortable, but also high, and uh, gives you a lot of support and stiffness to the top of the boot. So overall, good boot. 